I remember when I was sick and um, you came all the way from Jackson just to wash my clothes on Mother's Day. Yeah, you know I got you. That meant more to me than anything anybody could buy. You gonna make me ugly cry. Don't do that. I never do. <laughs> <laughs> I've always got you back, Mom. Brandon grew up here. He went to Laurel High School. He has the stereotypical small town story. He left, and I don't think he ever planned on coming back. So I first left Laurel when I decided to go to Mississippi State for university. And uh, stayed gone from Laurel for about 13 years. And recently, in July of 2021, my sister passed away and it really got me thinking about family and the short time that we had with family. And so I decided to move back to law. I do appreciate you letting me crash in the back room back there for a little while. That's what we do as family. We stay together, we stick together. He wants to be closer to his nieces and nephews. He wants to see them grow up. That's good, that was good. I'm looking for a fixer-upper, something that I can give for relatively cheaply where I could actually work from home. Brandon wants a lot of storage. Organization is important to me. Clutter gives me a lot of anxiety. He's an engineer, and so he wants everything to have a place, and he wants everything to be in its place. And he really wants spaces for when his nieces and nephew come over to play. Maybe one extra room if they want to stay tonight, you know. Oh, and absolutely has to have a, a great kitchen. I do not want to spend more than $200,000. That's my absolute max. Your mom lives near here? She does, actually. She actually lives right over the way there, a block over. Nice. Oh, wow. So you're real familiar with this neighborhood, too? Real familiar with this neighborhood. OK. Let's uh, talk about the Howell House here. Whoa. Yeah. How well do you yeah. feel about this one? It's, it's pretty rough. Don't look at the tore up flashing on the brick or the broken windows or the ugly door. Or the, the busted light on the porch. But if you really just focus on that tree, this is a nice tree. Don't look at the house. Imagine your nieces and nephews coming over and there's a, a nice swing hanging from there. That's a good picture. It could be very charming. OK. All right, so let me tell you about it first, because we've all, so far all we've done is Run it in the ground? Run it in the ground. There's the crow there on the steeple. Oh, gosh, oh, damn. Oh, gosh, Can you get so that? creepy. <laughs> that is an omen. Uh, do we even want to go and look at this house? <laughs> That's a good question, man. Doesn't give you all the warm and fuzzies, does it? Not no, a great start. It does it. James and Becky Howell moved here in the 1970s. It's two bedrooms, one and a half bathroom, a little over a thousand square feet, and it's only listed for thirty thousand oh. dollars. It's a lower list price than the other house. There's a reason for that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I see the reason. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's because of the crow. I'm not even going to ask you what you like about it. I'm just going to show you what it could be. OK. OK. Oh, wow. I really like that. Symmetry. Symmetry. Yeah. Very symmetrical. <laughs> it's not its best self like this, with the door slammed up against the wall. And then we paint the whole house, center a front door, add windows on the left and right, and give you a little portico over the front door. I like that. And then we add some landscaping, too. Think about this. If you walk through the front door right there in the center of the house, okay. you get a window here okay. and a window on the other side. Okay. And on the left side is the kitchen. And instead of this window, you would have an oven built in with your hood vent above okay. and a sink under the window over here and refrigerator built into cabinets on the wall. That door would go away. Okay. So you would have a U-shaped kitchen. And I would love to use maybe like a brick on your backsplash. Ooh. And then new LVT flooring throughout the house. And we would replace those windows over there. And that could be dining room on that side. Okay. And we could open up a big cased opening there that goes into your living room. The other house had already had some work done. Obviously, this one has not had any work done. So we would kind of be starting over fresh. This house is a lot closer to my mom's house, but I also know the other neighborhood. It's a good neighborhood. I'd want to be closer to mama. Just That's just me, though. I'm not going to make up your mind for you. So I have chosen a house, yeah. and it's the Howell House. You did. Okay, it. yes. It's going to be close to mom, but not too close. I think it's going to be really cute, and it was a great deal. So about that deal, it was $30,000 that was listed for. Well, I was able to negotiate it down to $14,000. What? $14,000? Yes. yes, major, major. Are you going to leave engineering to become a lawyer? Yeah. <gasps> All right. Oh, so good. I know that that probably sounds 
completely absurd that he got a house for $14,000 to the rest of America, but here, I mean, it happens. It tastes like there's some real fresh basil on here. I am just tickled for him. This is amazing. It's been such a waiting game at Brandon's house, but we're finally seeing the floor plan come alive. And sheetrock is going up. We've had to order windows. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting because you just can't move forward with our siding until our windows come, and they came. How about that? Ooh, yeah. The door's in, the little front awning is almost there. The windows are all done now. We can start putting up siding. And then trim. Remember where we were not too long ago. We tore the front of this house off. That's a wide piece of wood. For real, though, this is going to be a solid desktop. OK. Brandon Everett, he's got this room in his house that when he bought it was the kitchen. But now we've made it into kind of a guest room slash office. This room is really small. It's the smallest room in the house. So the desk has to work with the room. So in this corner, we're going to do an L-shaped desk. For the framing, solid. American-made square tubing. Steel. What I want to do is weld up a frame for the desk. OK. And then do this on the top. What I want to do for that corner is do a grain match on the 45. I love a grain match. So can you handle the cuts? I'm a woodworker, not a weld worker. I got it. And I'm going to go work on the welding. Good luck. I think this is going to be such a perfect place for Brandon. He's coming home and doing this very noble thing to be close to his family and close to his nieces and nephews. We tried to make it everything he's going to need in a very efficient space. Ooh, Ooh smooth as butter. That's a nice desk. Hey. Steel meets wood. We had some challenges because the budget changed significantly with our foundation and structural issues. I love the way we pivoted, and it feels like it has every bit of the luxury that we wanted. My gosh, the exterior of this house is so idyllic. It's got the swings for when the kids are here visiting Uncle Brandon. It's good, huh? Man, Mr. McGrew can do some work, huh? He signed it. His grandchildren and great-grandchildren are going to love this. We tried to make choices for him that would be super personal and that would make it feel like home. We want this house to be like, I did the right thing. It is that. It's amazing. Welcome to the Everett house. Wow. You just nailed it. Oh, that's fantastic. Isn't it so pretty? Wow. Is this the same house? No. <laughs> yes. We gave you the option to make it a different house. That is completely, can I? Yeah. You can see it. it. Is, yeah, look. look at it. It's your house. Oh look around. God. All the windows are straight now. All the windows are straight. Glass in them. That's crazy. It is crazy. That is crazy. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you recognize anything? No, nothing. Is this mine? This is yours. Jeez. I'm speechless. This is fantastic. Your house feels a lot bigger, too, now, to me. It does look bigger. That's incredible. I love it. Love the color on the cabinets. Yes. Good. It's really similar to your exterior color palette, but we just like made it a little more neutral in here, and you'll see more as we go along. The floor is nice. Is this vinyl? It wow. is. I was planning to have a real Chicago brick backsplash, but uh -huh. I went with this porcelain tile that was like a fraction of that cost. I love it. But it's still the same look. Great line. choice. Maybe the best thing about your house when you walk inside is something that you cannot see. Oh, yeah, no bounce. It's no solid. <laughs> it is solid, dude. It was a disgusting kitchen before. Yes, it was. Ooh, maybe and the worst kitchen ever. The worst office. ever. We just wanted to make sure that even if it is an office, you also can make it a guest room. If someone needs to spend the night, they have the space to do it. Yes. Love it.